Welcome back, this is Maya for So So Easy and in this third and last episode we'll be talking about how to put this back together and the materials that you will need to finish this project. To begin with you print the pattern that is free on our website and make sure that when you do the square measures 2 inches by 2 inches. For the bottom part I have used stitch and sew combined with fleece but you are welcome to use leather or the hard material that is designed for bottoms for bags. Just make sure that you cut it 5 8 of an inch smaller than the piece of fabric. You will need a 1 inch whole diameter grommet four of them and finally in order to make this bag anti-electronic pickpocketing you need to use RFID fabric in my test I found that you need to use two layers so you either line the whole bag or line the pocket twice creating like that that way a Faraday cage and the way that must be done is by Put in the zipper and sew in all the sides. The zipper must be closed at all times in order to work. Let's start assembling the body of the bag. And since I'm using fleece, I need to sew it to the fabric. I have already applied very thin interfacing, fusible interfacing. I'm only sewing some diagonal lines so the fleece stays with the fabric and sewing the sides of the bag. Keep the sides open and then gather as you did in the lining, starting on the side seam with a very large stitch. Sew two rows of seams. Keep them one quarter of an inch apart from each other. That's still room enough for sewing the bottom to this part of the bag at 5 eighths of an inch. Pull the right two threads, top threads, and then the left and repeat on the other side of the bag. Match the notches to the side seams, which are open, and continue gathering, giving shape to the bottom. Once you have finished gathering, take it to the sewing machine and sew a 5 eighths of an inch. Go around twice so the bag is strong. Trim the seam allowance by half and zigzag all around it. And then we're ready for the next stage, which will be adding the zipper to the gusset. Fold the edges of the gusset by 5 8 of an inch and iron them. Please make sure these are straight. Place your zipper with the head side up and align your gusset really straight. Make sure you leave one eighth of an inch from the zipper teeth. Leave five eighths of an inch on either side of the gusset, on both gussets. Do not sew on from this, start sewing from this mark. You will need that mark margin later on. Change your machine to a zipper foot and with the aid of the the edge of the foot make a very straight stitching. Please remember this stitching will be seen so try your best to make it as professional as possible. Remember to stop 5 eighths of an inch before the end. Take those two edges, face the gussets together with a print inside and take it to the machine and sew 
5 eighths of an inch. Change your, you still should have your zipper foot on, so so at 5 eighths of an inch on both sides. We will cut the zipper later, but before that, we need to sew. Open the zipper about 1 inch and bend the zipper so it's easy for you to sew this part. It's a little tricky, but this is what it will give shape to the gusset, which is, it's supposed to bend a little bit. We are almost done with the zipper, so now I am going to add the part that I cut at the beginning on the last video that belong to the lining and simply I will just add that little part back on and make sure that it's big enough for to fit inside the bag. This part will be joined with the lining and you will see a stitching line in if you did not cut this part then the stitching line will not be there. It is just simply I'm trying to show you how I fix that. Otherwise the lining is too short. Once I have done this and I have finished sewing the bit that I have taken before, I line up the gusset with a zipper or the facing, however you want to call it. Make sure it's facing you, the right side of the print, and line up all the seams open. This is very important to avoid any bulk when you are sewing. This is what it should look like. You are looking at the pocket outside and the fusible interfacing. Put it inside the bag and this time line up the facing or gusset. Don't worry about the zipper yet, we will come to that. Match all the seams again, all of them open. This is right side of the fabric with right side of the fabric. Pin all around and you will sew this at 3 eighths of an inch. Pin all around and sew 3 eighths of an inch which is small enough to be able to nick the edges without cutting and then turn the bag to make it stronger do it twice sew twice around the edge stick your hand through the hole and turn the bag I am taking pictures as I go because of the blog article as I said before I did not make a this is the sample for the blog so I thought I save some time and do it straight the thing that takes the longest is to edit the video and add the voiceover. As you turn the back around, the thing that will be a bit more confusing for you is the zipper. Simply turn the zippers and join the little metal together and sew in a sewing machine. Start sewing where the two seams of the zipper meet. Go back and forth a couple of times and then trim it. But do not trim the fabric. We are going to need that little bit of fabric to tuck the facing down. Do the other side exactly the same way. Here's the other side and as you can see we will be doing the same thing. Sewing across those two seams and then clipping the zipper. Do not cut the fabric. It's time to add the grommets to the bag and simply trace the diameter of the grommet which is one inch and cut it with very sharp scissors. Take the leg the part with the legs and insert it on the outside of the bag, the bag, the part that people are going to see. I have applied a bit of glue to stop it from rubbing and 
to make it stronger and I push the legs with a flat screwdriver. Copy the position of the first grommet by folding the back in half and trace the inside of the grommet. Repeat this for the other two grommets. Next step would be to finish the lining by sewing one eighth of an inch. Remember to make this bag simulate a Faraday cage and stop readers from stealing your information and your money. You need to replace the lining with RFID fabric and the pockets. This has been my year for So So Easy. I had a great time making this bag and I hope that you do too. Until next time, goodbye.